The man accused of raping and killing a woman last month in Northwest Charlotte back behind bars this morning. That's after a Mecklenburg County judge decided to raise the bond for Raphael Wright to $850,000. It follows backlash last month after Wright was able to walk free after posting a much lower bond. WCNC Charlotte's Destiny Richards joins us now live this morning and Destiny Wright's attorneys argue that he is not a threat to the community. That's right. In court, Wright's defense attorney tried to argue that he wasn't a flight risk and that he shot the woman in self-defense, claiming she tried to rob him. Yesterday's court hearing came as new court documents reveal what investigators say happened the night of the crime. According to the documents, Wright says he found the victim on an escort website, went to a hotel to meet her, and he was attacked by someone hiding in the bathroom who was trying to steal his money. Wright claims his attacker pointed a gun at him. He shot back and the gunshot struck the victim. When the woman was brought to the hospital, she told police Wright raped her and she died later on at the hospital. Wright was arrested in Rock Hill just a few days after the incident. Now, the state and the defense are in disagreement about what happened and argued back and forth about if he should remain behind bars. Here's what both sides had to say in court. It's not an if he is a danger, it is that he is a danger. And we know that because we have a woman who has been killed and raped because of his actions. Raphael went there to meet Ms. Schechter. She attempted to rob him. He defended himself. And this unfortunate situation occurred. A woman who was identified as the victim's grandmother spoke out nearly in tears about the initial $50,000 bond, saying Wright could have hurt someone else. CMPD Chief Johnny Jennings has also criticized it, saying there is no bond amount that is sufficient for a community's peace of mind regarding their safety. And in the end, Judge Reggie McKnight raised Wright's bond, siding with the prosecution's argument that Wright should not be allowed to be free during his trial. And of course, we'll continue to keep you updated about his next appearance in court. Live at the Mecklenburg County Courthouse, I'm Destiny Richards, WCNC Charlotte. All right, keep us posted. Destiny, thanks.